Dreadnoughts. This is Squid Vicious. Oi! This is the Dread Pirate Grizzle. My name is Uncle Touchy, and you are tuned in to the Grind on PunkRadioCast.com. Sixty-four. We're here in a parking alley. No liquor, not at all. None's been consumed. <laughs> We've got uh, a band whose members are as eclectic as their sound. It's the Dreadnoughts. Who do we have here today? Uh, I don't think you understand how eclectic our members are. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say we're part of a, an incredible movement, the post-good slowcore movement. It's great. Right. So you guys just recently uh, toured Europe? Yes, indeed. How we did. How the hell was that? Uh, it's cheaper to buy alcohol there. Yes. And it's more widely available. In Poland, we found a bottle of vodka for four slotties, which is the equivalent of 78 Canadian yep. cents. And if wow. you can't afford that, you can buy this uh, Yavo stuff, two bottles for two slotties. Incidentally, homemade bathtub wine in Poland, 27%. Yeah. That is a win. That well, is a win. in the ass right there. Hey? Oh, yeah. So I uh, took a quick look on your tour blog. I have to say, that's one of the most interesting reads I've had in a long time. <laughs> Anything in particular well, you found interesting? I really enjoyed the uh, the concept for rock band reality. Uh, yes. Have you guys had any offers yet? Uh, for no, but we will. And this this moment that you're filming right now is a perfect perfect illustration of what rock band reality is like. Everyone thinks, oh, you get on stage, you know, rock band, you you get you play the song, show's over, everything's great. No, you gotta load 17 fucking merch boxes <laughs> into a fucking trailer where the cock sucking drummers made off with a fucking car keys and you can't even get in! <laughs> he's gone, he's not answering his goddamn cell phone! That's reality! Don't forget it! In the game your stamina would be going down by now. Right now yeah. my stamina is dropping oh. as we speak! <laughs> the dreadnoughts come to be? What all kicked it off? Uh, well, we started uh, at East Hastings in Vancouver, and we were listening to some Irish and Gypsy bands, and then we went to the Ivanhoe in Vancouver, and it sort of came together that way. Like, uh, you take traditional Irish and Gypsy music, and then you go to a bar, and you get completely obliterated, and then sort of comes out naturally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I actually found Seamus on Plenty of Fish. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was a good catch there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, you guys have played all sorts of crazy places. Uh, a high school in Quebec as well. Yes. Oh, was, that, was that the most that was awesome. insane place? Or have there been crazier places than oh, the Dead There's been crazier after? places, but that's one of the first time we actually got one of our one of our first Nazi salutes, I believe. Yeah, there was yeah. a 12-year-old kid who gave us a Nazi salute. You guys are up to two or three by now? Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah, well, I got to a few more because in uh, mm -hmm. Castle, uh, there was uh, there was uh, we, a big Nazi influence in the band. It was strange. There was this pop punk band, but still big Nazi. Uh, also, drama we band. played a uh, street corner in Portugal when our gig got shut down by the cops. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's that was interesting. Crazy. That's concept. plus rock points right there too. Yes, in the rock band reality show, that's when you get like ten experience points. <laughs> but then you get minus twenty stamina points for having to drink all the fucking cider uh, afterwards. Yeah. That's cider. The thing. Rumor has it you guys enjoyed this cider. N no! 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 You not, might just any, say that. not just any cider, though. We're a cider appreciation community that occasionally plays punk rock music. <laughs> just and to, to say we enjoy cider is a, kind of a misnomer. Yeah. Cider is not something we enjoy. It's like saying humans enjoy air. Yes. It's a, it's a necessity. Cider is a way of life. Yes, yeah, a way of life. So, in your European adventures, best cider, where was that found? Bristol. Yeah. Bristol, Bristol, most definitely. England, yes. second, uh, England has uncarbonated 12% fucking cider. Yeah. And they sell it in six liter jugs! Yes, indeed. <laughs> fucking and, uh, gosh! We do have to give credit to Spain as well. Spain tries. Although they cider. do tend to pour cider on the ground. They do, they do, and they do this thing where they pour it. This is a bottle, it's a cup, and they pour it like this. And you think, spill all the cider on the ground! What and the, that? the worst part is they call it sidra, which sounds a lot like their word for AIDS. Uh, <laughs> AIDS. Yes. So when we call, when we sing cider the song down there, they think we're singing AIDS, AIDS, oh. AIDS. Sida, 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 sida. <laughs> Good. Brand new album for you guys just recently came out on Stomp Records, Victory Square. Yeah. How has that, uh, how has that been received so far? Uh, anally or vaginally? Um, whichever way you want to take it, I guess. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> uh, no comment. I've been saying that one for years, actually. Uh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good. Uh, Sean from the Creep Show loves it, and that's all we care about. The rest of you yeah. can find. There you go. Stamp of approval. Hey? That's right. Yeah. Now, did you record that at the Hive in that? Yes, we did. Yeah, what, Stewie. Uh, Stewie what kind at the of Hive. Experience was that, and I have to say, uh, Stu McKillop says hello, by the way. Hey, Stewie! 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 Anyway, uh, who is this? Uh, what? It's Stu B from Studio B. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, 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 <laughs> How does the new record uh, differ from your previous release? Well, I've had a lot of previous releases. <laughs> more drinking. More uh, drinking. It, it's got, uh, we drank more in the studio and it's uh, black instead of white on the front. That and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So are you saying don't pick up your previous album? Or? Fuck that shit. I will take your money! <laughs> <laughs> So you guys are heading back to Europe in January. Any yes, specific indeed. dates that are really uh, exciting you? I understand that a uh, show that's being prepared with you guys, uh, Circle J, and another group, and if people want to vote online as to where yes, they indeed. nice nipples, by the way. Uh, if they want to vote online as to the set order, they can, they can hit that up. Yeah, um, that's true, all of it. All yep. of that. <laughs> all of that is true, and more. Excellent. <laughs> entertaining you for the rest of the evening. 
Flash and shoot up on a show, you know we must have way away, Jim Lee. But our cup is lying empty, and the ship lies in the bay away, Jim Lee. She's shy, but flashing the gun, she'll get us up. 